Welcome to Turning Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, this week did not go as planned. I was hoping to make a beautiful purple heart rollerball pen. Unfortunately, my human instincts took over and I made a mistake. So this week I'm going to go through the whole process and then I'm going to cut it at where I made the mistake at the end. Starting with the bandsaw, I'll then move into drilling it out for the brass barrels. I use the measurement of the barrels. I turn it off in between each one. I get it in there, get it nice and close. I leave about oh, one, one and a half millimeter on either side. Just enough play that if any blowout happens, it's recoverable. Most weeks I do make some sort of mistake, however I do usually recover from it. This week I couldn't overcome my major mistake. So I've got the barrels to the right length now, I'm going to jump over to the lathe and drill out. So this one I believe is the lid, which is 12.5 mil. I don't have the right mill, so I use a 12 and I tr spin it a bit faster than I normally would. It seems to eat just enough away. Sometimes I'll go in for a second pass just to get it out of the way. Really doesn't take much just to get that barrel nice and tight. Flip it around the other way and I'll just loosen that up a touch. Now the brass barrel goes the whole way through. And I'll switch over to the main body of the pen. You'll notice this one's a bit smaller. Just comparing size. This one takes a few more attempts to get through. I then bump it up half a millimeter and I successfully get it. Moving over to the actual turning now. It's a shame this one didn't work out because it's actually turned beautifully. Everything went right until it didn't. Right now I'm running this at two times speed. After recovering from the mistake, I ended up finishing the pen, but it wasn't good enough to sell. So that's ended up in the daily drivers between myself and my wife. Truth be told, I haven't seen it since.
Moving into the sanding, doing my typical 150 to 600. I turned the camera off while the air compressor was charging up. I really don't enjoy that noise. As you can see, I'm going left to right with the sanding there, trying to make those circular marks disappear. Again, this is purple heart, so I do try to bring that purple out a little bit. On this pen, I kept it quite reserved, and I didn't go over the top. So when I came back for a second sanding, kind of lost some of the purple which is a good thing because it will purple naturally so over the next couple of weeks it will get more and more rich purple those of you who don't know the purple heart it goes purple and purple and goes more purple until the point that it almost turns jet black and it's absolutely beautiful that's a process that happens over many 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 years Line the first coat of finish now. You can see that's come out a lot more brown than the other purples I've done. And that's perfectly fine. Over the next couple of weeks, it, well, in saying that, it's been a week and it's already purpled up quite a bit more than this. I'm excited to see just how it does age over time. some finish on using some accelerator and continuing on I believe I did five coats of thin and then I did one or two of medium you can already see start that lighter purple down the bottom there it's really starting to shine I put way too much medium on there, you can see it. That's not the mistake I made, but that's one of them. Moving into the micro mesh, trying to smoothen it all out. This is actually quite an enjoyable process. So I did two different passes here. in real time just for this final layer running my finger along feeling any of those pits that I saw earlier
taking it off the lathe and I'm starting to press. This is where my mistake happens. So, the lid successfully pressed together came out beautiful. Got one half of the base pressed together, came out beautiful. Was going in for the second piece, and I put it in the wrong order. There's the lid, completed, beautiful. First piece of the base going on, second piece of the base coming out of the pack, and this is where I messed up. That silver piece is backwards, and it does not press together. I ended up breaking the end piece in there, I had to pull it out. I successfully got it out, but it cracked the finish. I wasn't going to take it back to nothing as I'd already put the rest of the pieces in. So I grabbed one from another kit and I finished the pen. And yeah, as I said, it's in my daily drivers. It's a beautiful pen, but mistakes happen.